Oh my gosh. Guys, that episode, the Jackady episode, was amazing. Legit amazing. Miraculous Ladybug never stops amazing me with its die-hard fan service of Ladrian and the mystery of Gabriel Agrest. Just simply amazing. And let me point out why. I'm Yaxi Cat, and this is the Miraculous Ladybug review number one. Miraculous! Okay, so to start it off, we see our little hero's parents starting to realize that their daughter is skipping classes. Well, not only did her parents notice, but so did her best friend Alia when she agreed that she unintentionally deserved to be grounded because of all the mysterious absences Maran- Meh, sorry. Marinette's been happening. Goddamn freaking French names. And by the way, let me point out the first part where Marinette was sad about not going to the DJ contest thing that Nino invited her to. The next part showed Hawkmoth's signature villain scene where he was about to start akumatizing and I was like, oh my gosh, Marinette's gonna be akumatized. But no, seems like the guy in the contest of the DJ thing Nina was participating in was the one who got akumatized. Uh, thanks for giving me a small heart attack, Hawkmoth. But guys, okay, let me tell you this. Tumblr's being a big smack in the face here and there ever since this episode came out. But guys, it's obviously Gabriel Agrest who's Hawk Moth. They look the same. Ah, wrong. They do not. Or, I don't know, maybe they do. Unless Kwame transformations can change everything else but your outfit and power, I'd say that the similarities between Hawk Moth and Gabriel are a load of bull. Okay, now... I won't be going every goddamn inch of his face just to prove to the public that they are not or are the same. Let me just state some unusual behavior with the two men during the episode. I mean, there are simply too much evidence in this episode to prove that they are two different people. Now let's go Danganronpa class trial on this thing. First evidence, they're both in two different places when the akumatizing happened. Mr. Papillon, sir, is in his little bat cave, or should I say, butterfly cave? Ha! <laughs> Gay! Yeah, he's in his cave while Monsieur Agrest is in his mansion mourning over his dead wife. Oh, whoa, okay, that got so dark. Sorry about that. By the way, guys, speaking of his dead wife, I'll be talking about the theories behind the origins of Ladybug in my next vid, but sub if you wanna see. Anyways, back to the second evidence, which is the face shape of the two. If you look closely, their cranial structure, or for those who don't know what that means, their head shape look nothing alike. Gabriel's head looks slimmer and much more defined, while the butterfly man has a more round shape. Okay, maybe it might be Gabriel with his hair squashed up in a neat bowl cut under that mask, but hey, it's pretty far-fetched if I do say so myself. Plus, their skin color is different. Mr. Agrest is much more tan than Hawk Moth. And don't give me that lighting bowl. Oh, that's cause the light is making his skin look paler than without his disguise, yada yada yada. No! I'm an artist myself, and I know that the lighting doesn't count if you pay attention to the episodes. Okay, third evidence, both have different goals in the episode. Plus, the two even try to stop each other from the other goals. Wait, what? Okay, okay, I meant that Gabriel tried to stop the zombie invasion with all of his might and knowledge, but wasn't able to. Plus, the time where he was hypnotized to act like a butterfly, which was obviously my favorite part, the magic actually worked on him, which I'm not saying isn't possible, or is impossible, but Hawk Moth, aka Gabriel, could have acted his way out of it, but instead, he really did get hypnotized. Okay, now that we're done with the evidence, let me just say that the two really are different, but the two are somehow the same. Siblings or relatives, perhaps? In the episode, it showed that Gabriel was strangely interested in both Ladybug and Chat Noir's accessories. Was it his designer career that affected this? Maybe, but 
If it were, he would have complimented both their outfits as well, not only their accessories. Come on, look at that outfit full of freaking spandex and everything. How can he not say anything about it? Where's the zipper in her outfit? He should know this. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyways, not only did Gabriel take interest in this, but he noticed the way Chat Noir acted. Pretty ironic, if I do say so myself. Chat Noir just tried to do his job but eventually snapped at one point and gave orders to Gabriel. Gabriel then says his temper reminds him of someone he knows. Oh no. Plus, the time where this thing happened. Yeah, that, that sweet father and son bonding moment for how many seconds? Till he noticed the ring. He noticed the ring and was like, My son, you have never worn anything else but my stuff. What the hell is this? Eh, and that's where Gabriel knew that his son is indeed gay for accessories. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. But seriously, Gabriel knows. He knows. How is this possible? Ah, my gosh. Uh, well, now that he knows, we don't know what might happen. So let's just see in the next episode, huh? Up, up, up. Okay. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Ladrian, ladies and gentlemen. The Ladrian. Man, in this episode, it was so overwhelming that I actually squealed like a kid on her birthday. It was amazing. Oh my god, it's happening! Uh, anyways, the first part that it happened was uh, when Ladybug was with Nino and asked if Adrian was there. Chat Noir was there instead and said, Oh, he'll eventually show up, I'm sure. Then he untransformed and met up with the others. Ugh, man, the way he looked at her, my god damn feels! Yeah, so uh, after that, LB then acted shy and all Marinetti and continued on. The next Legion scene was during the time she had to find him, but he was in the shower. <laughs> you know some stuff's gonna happen if there's a shower, if you know what I mean. When she opened the door, she found Adrian taking a bath right before he untransformed again from Chat Noir. She freaked out when he saw him taking a bath and did the weird hand gesture with her face. Remember the Kung Fu episode? She saw him at the door and did the weird jazz hands thing. Yeah, that. Marinette, baby girl, you're showing your true self, girl. Stop. And finally, the last Adrian part. Ugh, the both of them said, You have the same smile when they looked at the photo of his mother. <sighs> Dear God, you do not know how much of a spark that just burned inside of me of the fandom, you know? That was it, guys. It, it sailed right after that. And uh, then the two of them realized what they just said to each other, then eventually just blushed and looked away. Ugh, jeez, just kiss already why is there so much sexual tension in a kids show ah it's the fan service to blame mm, well i guess that's all i can say for now thank you guys for listening to me rant and stuff i just wanted to point out some of the stuff there so yeah i'm yaxi cat and this was miraculous ladybug review number one hope you enjoyed